So everybody's in this uproar right now about the whole thing with Disney buying the rights to the Bible because people are starting to notice that scriptures are being removed. Then other people are like, oh, wait a minute. No, those scriptures were already being removed, right? And the main one everybody's talking about is Matthew 17, 21. Now, this is the scripture right here, okay? This is the King James Version. Even the Bible that I have that I was reading this morning myself, I you know, grew up reading the NIV version. It does not have the scripture in there. One of the most debated issues today in Christianity is missing scriptures or deliberate removal of the verses in the Bible. One of the most famous Bible verses removed is Matthew chapter 17, verse 21, which says, however, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. The verse was a revelation and spiritual insight Jesus shared with his disciples when they could not heal an epileptic boy after praying. Jesus advised them to fast and pray to get certain results. Another big issue is the omission of the Apocrypha, a collection of ancient texts not considered part of the canonical scriptures in most Protestant Christian traditions. The list is as follows. The first and second book of Esdras, the book of Tobit, the book of Judith, additions to the book of Esther, the book of Wisdom, the book of Sirach, the book of Baruch, the epistle of Jeremiah, additions to the book of Daniel, the prayer of Manasseh, the additional psalm, the first, second, third, and fourth book of Maccabees. These extra books can be found in the Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church Bibles, except in the Protestant denomination. Could there be a hidden agenda to distort the Bible and water it down? Have unbelievers taken over Bible publishing? Is the world coming to an end? These are some of the worrisome thoughts of some believers who are used to reading Matthew chapter 17, verse 21, in Bible versions like King James Version, the KGV, and the New King James Version, the NKJV. So why is Matthew chapter 17, verse 21 missing from the Bible? Firstly, it's crucial to clarify that the news going around is that Disney is buying Bible rights and deleting scriptures, including Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. There are different Bible versions published by different publishing companies, and Disney owns none of them. In fact, Disney had not shown any interest in buying any Bible rights. It's a fake story and just another social media prank to drive engagement. Again, we must state that Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 was not removed in all Bible versions. Some Bible versions that do not have the Bible verse include the New International Version, NIV, the New Revised Standard Version, NRSV, English Standard Version, ESV, New American Standard Bible, NASB, New Living Translation, NLT, and etc. However, other versions of the Bible like the King James Version and the New King James Version still have it. So Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 is still present in some Bible versions. Now that we have settled that, let's jump into why Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 is missing in the Bible. Many different versions of the Bible have been created from the different ancient manuscripts. Although Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 is not in all manuscripts, it is in some. Versions of the Bible differ in content due to discrepancies in textual evidence. Two of the most revered in ancient Greek manuscripts, Codex Vaticanus and Codex Sinaiticus do not have Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. Scholars consider these manuscripts, which belong to the 4th century, valuable witnesses to the original text of the New Testament. Some other early New Testament copies such as Codex Bizet and Codex Washingtonius and many Syriac and Coptic versions do not include Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. Even though this line is missing from some of the earliest copies, it is present in most Greek manuscripts and mentioned in the writings of the early church fathers. This is why it has been incorporated into numerous English Bible translations such as the King James Version over the years. Bible translators employ various approaches when bringing ancient manuscripts into modern languages. While some translators place a premium on translating particular texts or traditions, others work hard to ensure that their translations accurately reflect the most authoritative or generally accepted text. Therefore, the translator's methods determines whether verses like Matthew chapter 17 verse 21 are included or excluded. So Matthew chapter 17 verse 21, God, you know, I don't know how many times I said Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. That Matthew scripture, chapter 17 verse 21, is typically found in the Bible footnotes or comments when removed from the main text. To help readers be aware of textual variances and make educated interpretations, these footnotes often offer explanations or alternate readings 
based on manuscript evidence or scholarly study. So for example, if you check NIV using the YouVersion Bible app, you will see why it was not being added. So now we talk about the issue of spiritual warfare. Matthew 7 verse 21 and Mark chapter 9 verse 29 are similar. Mark chapter 9 verse 29 reads, this kind can come out only by prayer. So there's no attack or plan to stop us from engaging in spiritual warfare. We can use many scriptures for spiritual warfare to destroy the works of the devil and enforce deliverance, healing, and breakthroughs. Here are some of the scriptures. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 11. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 through 5. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 through 9. James chapter 4, verse 7. Romans chapter 8, verses 37 to 39. John chapter 10, verse 10. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 through 14. John chapter 16, verse 33. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Whew! Let me catch my breath for a little bit. So now we talk about the Egyptian Bible. The Egyptian Bible does not refer to a single cohesive religious scripture. Instead, it encompasses many ancient Egyptian religious texts, rituals, hymns, and myths. Anybody reading that is already deviating and seeking dark wisdom. That book has nothing to do with God or Jesus Christ. Remember what God says in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 31. Do not turn to mediums or seek out spiritists, for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. What about the Apocrypha? Why are they not included in the Bible? There are various reasons these extra books were not added to the Bible as we have it, today or canon. They include there is not enough manuscript evidence, some of the books being written in ways that don't fit with the canonical text, many of the books having themes or messages that don't fit with the rest of the scripture, and Jesus or any of the apostles did not cope from any of the books. So what's next? I guess Christians to focus on the truth in the Bible. If your Bible says Jesus died, was raised on the third day, ascended into heaven, and empowers us with the Holy Spirit, then we shouldn't be chasing hidden knowledge without connection with God's word. The devil is a liar and he is seeking ways to distract us from the truth. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that's John chapter 14, verse six. I hope you got the message in this video and I'm an author of four books, links in description. Also, if you like the content I'm throwing up, you know what to do, like the video and subscribe to this channel. Also, this video is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks, but the greatest compliment you can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to check out my books as well. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.